Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. Today I am back with a wonderful project. I can guess that if I'm that much excited by those fabric sample or lace sample cards, you might be as well, because this is this is really, really cute and will be really useful in our junk journals as ephemeras. So let me show you some that I've done, then I'll show you the kit that I've created and it's available in my Etsy shop and then I'll do some with you. So you'll see the whole process. So you can do simple, like just a little lace and there's a background as well. You can use, um, labels printed on fabric with a little sample of lace there. Now this one I've used two laces and I even added like a parchment paper and then I glued a label at the end. So that's another idea. Let me close up a little bit so you can see better. Okay. All the laces that you see here are from Crafty Me Shop. So just in case you wonder, I used all of our beautiful laces because I find that these projects allow me to put those gorgeous laces into an highlight and, and even keep a sample of it forever. I could unstaple the, the card and get that lace back for a project but i don't i don't see why i would do that but anyway that's an example um label printed on fabric with fabrics that crafty me shop sent me in her design team project kit um this one printed on fabric again with gorgeous laces look at that it's like if i see that like if you do like a sample of your prom dress or not a wedding dress but whatever will be created with those samples of laces you know like if you're a designer just a simple lace sometimes and through the kit, you're going to see when I'll show you the kit, you have different uh, front and different back. Some are plain, some has lines, some has a frame, numbers, and everything. Here I have two laces and a fabric from Esme, Crafty Me Shop. And it's pink at the back. An applique with a vintage label from my kids. Just that. Look at that. So I have different sizes. So I've used a lot of the um, laces from Crafty Me Shop and uh, fabric as well. So here, like I can see, it's a sem it's a sampler book kind of pamphlet so you have the lace you have a wonderful fabric i i've used the paper just to make the noises you have a lace you have a design of a dress and then i just glued those um, scissors see this is my label kit but printed on a green fabric instead of off-white or white so with those uh, black and white label kit that I added to my shop you can print on a fabric that has colors and it changed the whole thing because you would print that black girl on a green fabric and then you would have that green tag so yeah I love that don't you like it's so lovely Esme uh, in that inner kit she had kind of a, a bookmark I've trimmed it to size and I've used it as like if it was a lace. 
This again, it's a sampler of fabric that and laces that all go together. So like fabric and fabric that goes well together and that lace and I added like a plain off-white fabric just to to make a background to the lace. But look at that. And then at the back you have a place for journaling or it could be like I could see that like if it's uh, for a project and then you put the details of the project there. So that's why I call this kit like a sample cards, like four samples, samples of laces, of fabric, but this could be wallpaper. This could be just papers as well. This could be used instead of, of uh, stempling uh, fabric. This could be like a booklet with coffee stain papers. So I'll do a couple of examples with different things than laces um, after I show you this kit. So let's start. There's one page that is more like pink roses in the Victorian style. Some are lighter. And then if you look at the back, there's always a word there and it, it changes from, um, from a kit to another one just so you have uh, little labels that you can use in these projects or other projects. Might as well, I had that empty spot there, like you can see here, but in the final version, there's a word there. So <clears throat> you have different cards and you have the back paper to print. And it looks weird, but this is really matching the cards in front so this is a lighter color than this one because this one is a lighter than this one so you have the back to uh, print and then when you cut them and you trim them they are perfectly aligned so you have the line in front so let's say if you don't staple it then you make it that you can open it for whatever other project you have in mind you still have the line inside as well. So, roses, really, really good looking. Then you have this one. It's the same in green, in blue, and in pink. So let me just show you the pink in details because um, they are exactly the same. It's really just the color inside the frame that changes. So I thought, you know, I work hard to create individual designs, but if I have to change the color inside, this is not that much of a, that much more work for me. And I'm the type of person who loves to have different choices when I'm working with uh, my junk journals. So I thought you might appreciate to be able to print them and have those in pink in green and in blue, which are my favorite shabby chic colors. Uh, so if you have my style, you'll be happy with that. If you love oranges and yellowish and other brighter colors, well, I'm sorry, it, it doesn't, doesn't appeal me that much. So and at some point I have to, to stop. I cannot offer all the colors. But anyway, so um, this one, you have this one with a dress. And I've put like a name and a number because I see that a sampler of laces or fabrics related to designing that dress. And then I would put this dress is for Emma. And, you know, if you're a sewer and you're giving a sampler to someone to for a project. Uh, this one, it's just flowers and there's a bunch of numbers like we like and there's an empty spot here because I thought we can glue or staple a little piece of lace here on the cover plus in the um, in the sampler card. Let, let me show you an example. I think I have one here, but I've done that. Um, 
like this one. See, I have like a fabric, but it could be a stash of fabric. And I glued a little piece of lace here. So this is why you have an empty spot here. Either to write down something or glue or staple a, sem a sample of something. Then you have the floricultural cabinet, which is a different. Fabrique de chocolat, which means a chocolate factory. And uh, bonbon fame means uh, candies, like uh, fancy candies. And uh, here you have a florist magazine conducted by Joseph Harrison. Anyway, this is the one. They're all the same. Like I told you, you just have different colors. So, but you don't have a different design. And then this one has a complete different design. You have it ink savers. Uh, that means you just print on white paper and it mostly print in black. You don't need to do the background. You just print and cut. So I was thinking as well for those who has a laser jet printer that prints only in black and white, we can print it in black and white with a, a laser printer and then coffee stain or avocado stain those papers directly and then cut them and do the and do the trims but i also provided it with a white no with a light coffee color and then in that case you have the background that matches so if we look, they're, they're exactly the same designs. It's really just you have one that is black and white and one that is light coffee um, and black. So you have one for a sewing team. You have the dress because the dress is just too cute. But I wanted to make a little difference. So instead of the name, I've put a date. So let's say it's due date is for this date. And you have one for Paris. So see, again, this one has, it's empty. So I, I saw it as potentially just gluing a, something there. A little sample of paper or wallpaper, laces, fabric, whatever. Or write down something, a name, an event. You have this one with the flower again. And you have the florist magazine, but with Paris and a date and a number and number 95. I love those fonts and I love playing with those. So this is the kit. Now let's have some fun. So I've trimmed them because I don't want you to waste time watching me cutting. So I'll just ink in brown here, but you're going to see me later on. I'm planning to do some with some pink ink, blue ink, black ink and they all do different um different styles actually so what i do is i do the whole side and you want to at least to do this side because you're going to staple some fabric or paper but at the end you might see the cardstock so the inside you don't really need but if you if you really want or if you're doing another project that you will have to open it, you can do it. Now you can, I'll show you how I'm folding them. So in order to fold them, I pinch wherever the line is. I just do one pinch and then I go flat and I align. Well, let me see, let me show you so you can see. See here, I'm aligning the side to make sure it's aligned and then I press and do my fold this way it's always perfectly folded and the line inside matches the fold so for the outside you can do on both sides with the inking and you can even go inside you fold it the other way you ink and then you have the line again so this is how I ink them and don't forget, you can you can ink with different colors. You're going to see me uh, using other colors soon. So now I've already inked all of those uh, in brown. 
So let's start playing with those. Let's start doing one. So I'll start with a bigger one. And for example, I've picked that one because I want to use this gorgeous lace from Crafty Me Shop. Look at that. This is really vintage. So I want to be able to put it here and have some space. So I need to add another layer maybe. Um, and I prefer, honestly, I prefer the other side. I prefer it like this. All right, so I'm gonna trim that. Don't forget, we want to staple this. Um, you need to look at the back before to, to see where you can staple. You can do your staple here. So that means, well, on the word flower, which is not a good idea for here. And you can go a little bit higher, so at the edge here, which is great on that side. You need to look where you want to do your stapling if it will look good at the back. Because my first one that I did, I didn't think about this detail. And when I, I looked at the back, I was like, oh boy, I had like a staple right in the middle of the empty spot here. So, which is not bad, but I'm, I'm giving you the tip before you do the mistake. So in this case, I want to do my staple right here. So I'll make sure that my lace go up and that my length is enough. So let me cut. So what I'll do, because it's a lace, I might trim it a little bit shorter than the edge. All right, this. Now I feel it's missing something. So I think I'm gonna just put either, I could put paper or fabric, something plain. I've tried, let's say, if I'm adding some fabric, let's say, I'll give you a good example. It, it looks great still, but we are missing a bit of the, the gorgeous lace. And this one specifically, I want to see it all. So look at that, if I put like uh, that kind of fabric it's it's all there. It's a different, you know, it's just a different uh, style. They all look gorgeous. Like this is this is why I'm so excited with that kit. I'm just going crazy. I look at my uh, stash of fabric and laces and I want to do samplers of all of them. I just go crazy. So, let me trim to size. All right, oh, this one looks better, that edge. Okay, so that could be, that could be smaller, that could be longer, like, you know, it's, you do whatever you want that you like. And then I just need to use my stapler and I'm in business. the stapler and I'll go like if I look here I prefer going through the the edge compared to this well which is not so bad but I'll just go a little bit down so I need to be about there so I'll go on the line or a little bit after the line like this now it grabbed both here you go, we have a sampler done within a couple of seconds. So what I did is I've put on my table a bunch of laces and papers, parchment paper, tracing paper that has been coffee stained. Even I have wallpaper and I'm gonna play with that. 